to um, make a donation for the Japan earthquake. Some of the stuff that we do includes um, making the cranes. Um, there is a tradition in Japan where if you make a thousand cranes um, and then string them up together, a um, person who is ill or having a trouble, um, their hop and wish will be um, coming true. So it's our dream to make them recover as soon as possible. Today I think we made five times. How long does it take to make a crane? I'm like five minutes. Wow. Well, I think so, that there are two different ways where you hold the crane, where yeah. you get to the leg stage and then you like kind of like flip it oh. over yeah. and then that will create a straight bottom. But that makes fat cranes. Oh my God. And then these ones make skinny prettier cranes. So. Skinny pretty cranes. <laughs> I don't know how to do this, like the skinny pretty cranes. We're waiting for the fire marshal to come back on Monday, but uh, after we finish these, hopefully our thousand plus cranes will be hung somewhere in Eastman, hopefully near the main hall, um, somewhere public so that everyone can see them. <sighs> All right, well. We also have calligraphy, so um, anyone who wants to draw their names in Japanese, uh, we are able to teach them. Um, we're donating all the money to the Japanese Red Cross Society. My friend who lives in Sendai, she, her house still doesn't have gas, electricity, uh, water. She still has to go to the city place where uh, people can pop up the water and put it in the bucket and then take the water from there. You know, it's, it's definitely something that's really impacted the world and so it's kind of this like a showing that like every little, you know, every if, if, if we all come together, you know, we can do this. You know, it's, an, it's a very nice gesture. Um, to show support. This is the University of Rochester.